Cynthia Decker from 90 Day Fiancé The Pillow Talk, was forced to sell her home situated in Ball Ground, Georgia. It has been placed for sale, and the price has been cut as part of her continuing legal battle with her ex-best friend and business partner Molly Hopkins. According to a listing on a local real estate website, the four bedrooms and four bathrooms home was initially posted on March 17, with a price of $1,200,000 and was lowered 13 days later to a lower cost of $999,999. Which shows that Cynthia is desperate right now, and she has to sell the house as soon as possible, because she really needs the money due to the ongoing lawsuit against her. To help her real estate agent selling her house faster, Cynthia tried to use her social media influence by posting an Instagram story that says, price reduced. If you are interested in a custom dream home, please inquire Mary Lee. The 51-year-old former TLC personality also put a picture of the front of her home in the story and tagged her real estate agent Instagram profile so that any interested potential buyers will be able to get in touch with the realtor directly. Cynthia bought the house in October 2021 for $89,000 and has since extensively renovated it. The home, which sits on a big 4.79-acre lot, has vaulted, high ceilings, a large family room, walk-in closets, and a full terrace. Aside from being new, the house is on a secluded driveway, isolated from its neighbors and surrounded by trees. The price cut comes after Molly Hopkins accused her former 90-day fiancé pillow talk partner of stealing money during the settlement of their lawsuit over Cynthia's competing business. Cynthia allegedly agreed to sell Molly her half of their Livy Ray lingerie firm for $600,000 in weekly installments of $2,750 during a March 7 court hearing. According to records shared by In Touch magazine, Cynthia would then be removed from her and Molly's former business bank account. Cynthia paid off her personal credit card debt using funds from hers and Molly business bank account the same day, adding the business account as a payer and paying off the entire debt. Cynthia allegedly transferred $10,000 to her personal bank account and withdrawn $20,000 in cash, according to the emergency motion paperwork. Because Cynthia allegedly refused to return the money, Molly sought an interlocutory injunction, which kept the subject matter of the litigation alive until the trial concluded. By selling her home, Cynthia will be able to pay Molly back for the money she allegedly stole plus she will be able to pay her lawyer fees, and we all know how expensive lawyers are in the United States. Molly filed a lawsuit against Cynthia back in February 10, asking for a ruling that Cynthia's new business venture cannot compete with the store that the two co-founded in 2006. According to the lawsuit, Molly also sued on the grounds that Cynthia was in breach of their working agreement. At the time, the mother of three also asked a temporary restraining order, damages, attorney fees, and whatever other relief the court considered appropriate in the action. The complaint was filed just one day after the former co-stars had dissolved their 20-year friendship, over a disagreement they had about being in 90-day fiancé pillow talk, as well as difficulties concerning their joint business. It's very sad to see two best friends having problems with each other like this, and in front of the public eyes. We don't think that Molly and Cynthia's story will end anytime soon, the two still have a lot to fight for and we will keep you updated. Leave a comment to let us know how you feel about the former Pillow Talk hosts, and who do you support. Thank you for watching. Before you leave, don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest 90 Day Fiancé news and gossips. Also, follow us on social media for the latest 90 Day Fiancé memes. Links are in the description below.